if you ever want to avert the punishment from you divert it stop it there is a way of doing things what is it say the punishment is coming and you want it to go away the first thing you do seek the forgiveness of Allah وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ مُعَذِّبَهُمْ وَهُمْ يَسْتَغْفِرُونَ Allah says Allah would not punish them while they are seeking forgiveness. What does that mean? When something negative happens to you, the first thing you should do is ask yourself, did I wrong someone? Did I harm someone? Did I steal from someone? Did I do wrong? Did I uh, not fulfill my duty unto Allah? You know, when you come to someone, religious and you tell them look I suffered this I suffered that I suffered whatever whatever they are going to tell you at that moment good things to say you know what it's okay make make sabr it's okay read a bit of Quran do this do that don't worry it's okay it's not necessarily a punishment they are making you happy but in actual fact they should tell you maybe that's not the right moment but they should tell you have you hurt someone have you harmed someone have you wronged someone how is your connection with salah how is your dress code how is everything else you are disconnected totally from allah and you've been harming the people for the last 20 years allah knows what you deserve there we go that's a true answer so what should i do seek the forgiveness of allah make peace yunus alayhi salatu was salam his people when the punishment was coming they started seeking forgiveness those dark clouds were coming allah says فَلَوْلَا كَانَتْ قَرْيَةٌ آمَنَتْ فَنَفَعَهَا إِيمَانُهَا إِلَّا قَوْمَ يُونُسٍ لَمَّا آمَنُوا كَشَفْنَا عَنْهُمْ عَذَابَ الْخِزْيِ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَمَتَّعْنَاهُمْ إِلَى حِينَ Allah speaks about the people of Yunus. They are the ones whom when the punishment was coming, they accepted Iman. They actually turned to Allah, repented to Allah. Allah says, we diverted that punishment as it was coming. It benefited them. What benefited them? Their turning to Allah helped them. It diverted the punishment from them. Surely that's a lesson for me. Allah doesn't say this in the Quran for nothing. So may Allah grant me the ability to turn to him, the ability to make peace with people. I'm not saying forego justice. I'm not saying that. I'm saying if you have wronged someone, go and seek that forgiveness. Apologize. It's better for you. Say, you know, I did this, this, this. I'm sorry. If it's a matter of a few dollars, give it. Never mind if you suffer a bit of a loss in the world. You have won in both in this world and the hereafter in the eyes of Allah. Let me ask you guys a difficult question. Is there anything in the world that you love so much that you would give up your Iman in order to achieve it? I mean, would you leave your deen for let's say a villa, a beautiful spouse and a hundred million dollars in cash? Never, right? But what if you were dying from thirst and hunger? Would you exchange a religion for food and drink? Probably not. You'd rather prefer to die in hunger than losing your akhirah. That's how much we value our faith. It's priceless. Brothers and sisters, let me introduce you to Norway. This is a European country where the vast majority of the people have abandoned their belief in a religion. There are 200,000 Muslims there, out of the population of 5 million. And most of these 200,000 Muslims have no idea how to explain Islam to their non-Muslim friends and neighbors. But that needs to change. Allah sent his messengers to call people to eternal success. And that's why the Muslims in Norway are now establishing a masjid a Dawa center to enhance the Norwegian Dawa, but they cannot do it alone. We need to support them. If you donate for this course, you will inshallah reap the rewards of thousands of Muslims getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and many of them will become du'ad and invite to Islam. You will share in the reward for all of these shahadas and good deeds to come inshallah. So click the link and donate now and share the video for extra rewards.